So a really common question that I'm getting quite often around Pardot forms at the moment is if they can actually submit leads with different record types. Uh, so the answer to that is yes. Um, basically, you will need to do a bit of preparation beforehand and a bit of editing to get that to happen. But just for the purpose of the demonstration today, I've connected the Pardot training instance to a developer org of Salesforce um, just to show the lead record type being submitted through. And I've gone ahead inside of this org and created two record types, one called partner and one called customer. So the API name for partner is obviously partner but with a lowercase p and customer the same but with a lowercase c. So just important to remember that because we're obviously going to need, uh, use that information later on uh, to put inf uh, to transfer that information from Pardot into Salesforce. Um, so we can see here that we can create them in different types and obviously um, this is a, one good example of how you might use uh, record types but obviously there are lots of different ways where you might have examples of doing the same thing. So feel free to reach out if you want a more specific explanation. The next step is to go back to Pardot and go through and create a field that it can collect the record type ID and be able to process that and pass it through to Salesforce. To do that, we more or less need to create a custom field on the prospect level because that's the fields that can be added to Pardot Forms. The first step is obviously to go ahead and name it. So let's just use one that I've already used. Um, and you'll need to be linking it to the Salesforce field which is called Record Type ID. Now it's picked it up here and we can see Partner and Customer just there. Um, if you can't see that, just hit the refresh button and wait for your fields to refresh and it should appear in that drop down menu. Once you've created the custom field, that's the point in which you can use it to deploy into a form. So we're going ahead and creating that form now. Let's just call it test form one or two or one or whatever it might be. Um, I'm just going to store it underneath this campaign. And this is the important bit with the creation of this form. What we're going to have to do is create a field to collect the information, but we may not want to make it visible to people filling in the form. Of course, there always is the option to make it visible if you want people to actively select what type of you know uh, submission that they're doing, if it makes sense. But for the purpose of the demonstration today, we're going to put information into our record type field using a hidden field. I'm going to keep required on because required more or less um, won't, won't let this form to more or less process and submit without uh, without this record type being filled, which is always a good safeguard in processing things in the right way. If we, I'm just going to jump ahead to look and fill and just switch on uh, the data kiosk entry mode so that we can do a few tests of the same thing. And just choose my layout. There we go. And submit button. From here as well, just a thank you code, and we will go ahead and confirm and save. Actually, before we do, let's just add a completion action to assign the prospect to myself and push it through to Salesforce. Cool, so our form is more or less created. Um, probably not the best looking form in the world, but it, just for the purposes of this, it'll be fine. Uh, but there's one last little addition that we'll have to make to the actual form itself. What we're going to have to do here is add a piece of information to the iframe code that will be automatically input into that hidden record type field. So to do that is quite simple. All we need to do is add a appendix to the URL, uh, which is after a question mark. So we'll put a question mark in first. Um, and we're going to have to use firstly the name of this field. So if you didn't grab it before, it's the API name is what you're going to be using. So this, uh, sorry, this one here, which is record underscore type. Once we place that after the question mark, oh, remember no spaces, we'll need to put an equal sign to be specific about what type of record type we're submitting here. So for this purpose, this one, I'm going to type partner. And now this code is pretty much ready to deploy. So what that basically means is that this form is going to load um, without, that rec uh, without that field visible. And when you submit this form, it's going to take the, uh, basically what's going to be input from the form in from the URL. So let's have a look at that in action. 
I'm just gonna use brackets, which is a, a really free and cool tool to do a lot of code editing, it's free on Mac. So feel free to use this for your testing. And we're just gonna pop this in here. So it's, there's our iframe code and I'm gonna generate just a live preview of that. So there we have it. Uh, we can see it's um, hidden. So I'm just gonna simply uh, put my name in here and just a test company and a fake email. Okay, so I've gone ahead and actually hit it a little bit early, but if I just simply submit now, you'll see that the form itself won't actually sum, uh, will submit through, and will then hopefully input our record type into the submission. So if I just more or less refresh this page, what we'll then see is there I have it. Um, there's myself and the submission, and it's gone through to Salesforce. If we actually look at the prospect record inside Pardot, it's submitted partner in there. Okay, and if we go through now to Salesforce and refresh our open leads, we should now see, there it is there, um, our submission come through with a correct record type. All right, cool, so obviously that might have happened if we had it as default, so let's go back and test something again. Um, so I'm gonna go back into our brackets editor and now change that to customer to give you an idea of what it will look like with a different record type. So here we have the form and I'm going to put and okay. Submit that one off and now it's submitting customer in the record type ID instead of partner. So what we should have here is a different record type, which is customer. So that's a definitely an easy way to submit different record types for a part of form. I hope that was helpful. Um, there's more information below around how I did this, but of course, feel free to reach out to the team at implementation.guru. Thanks for that.